my camera's shaking back and forth. I've like stacked up a bunch of like random stuff to put my camera on. It's not good. It could tip over any second. Hey, what's up you guys? So today I'm doing a get ready with me and I actually have a reason to be getting ready even though it's dark outside. I have a Zoom meeting tonight, so getting ready for the Zoom meeting. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my anxiety, of course, because that's been a thing. So first thing I'm going to do is take my Smashbox primer and put it on my chin because my chin is going through it. <laughs> So I'm going to prime my chin, <laughs> but it just makes like my concealer look better. So anyways, I have been really anxious over like the past week and there's not really a definite answer of like why, it's just I'm always anxious. I'm using my foundation from Touch and Soul that is in my project pan. So, I've been getting like really panicky and like it's been really hard to breathe just because uh, <laughs> um, when I get really anxious it makes my chest like really tight and it feels like I can't like take deep breaths. So, it's not fun. And it'll keep me awake at night, just like thinking about like whatever it is that's making me anxious. So it's not good. So, I have discovered though, <laughs> that maybe I just need to be this anxious all the time. Because, I've said this in a few of my videos in the past, I have lost all my hobbies. Like... <laughs> When I was in like high school, that was like another time when I was like super duper anxious all the time. And my door looked weird for a second. See, that's how anxious I am. I'm like, my door looks weird. What the heck? <laughs> I used to play guitar all the time and write fan fiction all the time. And I just like lost those hobbies and I tried to like force myself to like get back into them because I know I like doing them but I just didn't have the motivation or the inspiration to do either of those things but <laughs> over the past couple of days I've started playing guitar again even though I take ukulele lessons and I wrote a ton of fan fiction <laughs> and then I like was thinking about it and I was like oh I'm anxious that's why so maybe I just need to be this anxious in order to have hobbies <laughs> because the only thing that I like really do now like with a normal level of anxiety is YouTube and there's motivation for YouTube because it's hard to stop and start YouTube like you kind of just need to keep going and keep like your subscribers like engage with you otherwise they'll like forget about you and like whatever and I make money from YouTube so there's like motivating factors here but there's none really with like fan fiction and playing guitar or whatever because like those are just hobbies like YouTube's a hobby too but it's also how I make money right now. I'm using my pressed powder that's in my project pan to set my face. I've decided maybe I just need to like let my anxiety like consume my life and then I'll do my hobbies. <laughs> I don't know. Cause when I'm anxious and I write fan fiction or I play guitar, it's like, I really enjoy it, but I like, don't and I don't have motivation or inspiration to do those when I'm just like not anxious enough <laughs> like I'm always anxious but right now I'm like really super duper anxious so I don't know 
that's just what I'm thinking. It's kind of like weird. Like, I just need to be anxious and life will be great. Like, that's what it like sounds like. But, I don't know. These are the things that I think about at night. It's been disturbing my sleep. Like, and giving me anxiety stomach aches. I used to get anxiety stomach aches in high school. Just the worst. See? I knew it was gonna come crashing down. We're hoping for the best. <laughs> okay. I'm taking this bronzer. Don't know what it is, but I'm trying to pan it and have like no progress in it. So. I used to like really hate bronzer. I kind of still do. If bronzer just like didn't exist anymore, I'd be totally fine with it. But I feel like I've just like learned how to do it a little bit better now. So I don't mind it as much, but I don't know. Still not like crazy fan of bronzer. So let's talk about <laughs> some of the things making me anxious. So, of course, there's my family. Like, not my mom and my dad. Like, my, like, extended, like, aunts, uncles, cousins, whatever. That kind of family. Because my family's just kind of messed up. And sometimes it feels like my family's the only normal family out of everybody. And... Like, what do you do? I don't know. So, my whole psycho family is making me anxious. I'm going to use this blush. This is like my favorite blush. It's like a nice bubblegummy pink color. I just like it a lot. So, you never know what certain people will be doing in my family. So, you know, anytime anything ever happens it's like new information weird crazy whatever um some of my family members got the coronavirus that's fun so that's not good um i don't know just like the whole thing is very concerning and when this whole thing happened this was like 2015 2016 so long time. I'm going to use this eyeshadow which I have made a highlighter and that's going to be my highlighter. Everybody like all my friends I would like tell them like oh my gosh my family is falling apart like whatever and everybody was always like it'll get better just like give it time and it's worse. Like I never believed them either when they were like, it's going to get better. Because I was like, guys, I think we're too far gone here. I don't think this can really get better. And it hasn't. It's gotten worse. So, like, it's like hard when you grow up with like a perfect family. And then all of a sudden, just like all your family members are like in total chaos and everybody hates each other and like whatever like it's a very hard change to go through because you're used to everybody being happy and everything and whatever and then suddenly you don't see any of your family so I'm taking this this is like an eyeshadow quad that I got in my ipsy and I've been using this color a lot to fill in my eyebrows because I just hate this thing so freaking much that I'm procrastinating using it. So I'm going to fill in the eyebrows with this eyeshadow today. So my family is a big thing making me anxious. So that's, that was really dark right there. <laughs> so that's one thing. And then of course there's college coming up, like fun. I have one more semester, my spring semester, and then I'm done. And then I gotta, like, figure out what I'm doing with my life, so that's great. 
like no idea what I'm gonna do so like the ultimate goal is I want to do YouTube um, but I cannot that's not sustainable right now so I'll get a job until I can make YouTube a sustainable job so that's the plan but I don't know what I'm going to do so that's kind of concerning and another thing is I've said this before eventually at some point I don't know at what point but my family's gonna move somewhere because my dad's gonna like retire or get another job or like something we don't know what's happening <laughs> but <clears throat> Wherever my parents go, I'm gonna go. And that could be anywhere. Like, I hope we end up in Tennessee because I think Tennessee is cool. <laughs> so, I have been really anxious just about the amount of stuff that I have because I have, I will have to eventually at some point in my life move and pack all this stuff up and then unpack it and like all this stuff and it just feels so overwhelming and like I had like a literal mental breakdown like a week ago because I was like oh my gosh there's just like so much stuff in my room like now I'm using my gimme brow to set my brows and trying to keep an eye on the time So, but my mom was like trying to like talk some sense and logic into me. She was like, Kylie, you used to have so much stuff before you met Christine and you've gotten rid of a lot of stuff since then. And the reason, like, okay, I have since my freak out about all the stuff in my room, I've boxed stuff up and put it in my basement and I really didn't want to do that and I haven't wanted to do that because my basement is a hoarder basement because my dad loves to have stuff that he never uses and whenever I put stuff in the basement it gets lost because my dad moves stuff around all the time and he doesn't put stuff back so I have no idea where like any of my stuff is and that's like really frustrating so I didn't want to put stuff in the basement and I wanted to have everything that I owned in my bedroom so that I knew where everything was. But since my whole wall is shelves of dollhouse, like, I don't have the normal amount of storage space in my bedroom that a normal person would have. So I feel like if I didn't have a wall of dollhouse, I would be able to fit everything that I owned in my bedroom. But that's not the case. So, using my e.l.f. eye primer. So, I'm just really anxious about the amount of stuff I have. Like, I feel like there's nothing else to get rid of because I've gone through, like, all my stuff multiple times. And I just can't find anything else to get rid of. Like, it's just making me anxious. Because I'm going to have to deal with all this stuff. I'm using different palettes because <laughs> I did this look the other day and it was really pretty. So I'm using this B palette from Sugar Rush and I'm taking this shade. It's like a good transition crease, whatever you want to call it, shade. And putting that in my crease and outer corner. And another thing that's making me anxious is my kidney stones because now I'm kind of like traumatized from that one that I had and I couldn't go to the hospital and I was like dying and throwing up from the pain like every time I get a kidney stone I'm just like traumatized and scared that it's gonna be like super crazy bad and I had a kidney stone diet it's like a low oxalate diet because that's what my kidney stones are made out of and they were like, follow this diet, like it was from my kidney doctor, whatever. And it was making my stones worse, which I don't even understand how that could be a thing. But it was, we tried it for a while, it made things worse, so we stopped. 
and I'm drinking like two liters of water a day like nothing is working and the things that I've tried are like making it worse and I just don't understand and <laughs> having kidney stones while being like super crazy anxious sucks and <laughs> so I have ukulele lessons as I'm sure you guys know by now and when I was I think I like kind of started ukulele lessons when I like got out of high school or something like that so maybe I was in high school I don't really remember but <laughs> I used to get panic attacks during my ukulele lessons I don't know why because I love ukulele lessons it's just me being anxious so what would happen is like I'm really good at hiding my panic attacks <laughs> because I'm so anxious that somebody's going to find out that I'm having a panic attack. So, <laughs> it's great, really, it is. I'm using this Ulta highlighter that I got from Becca, and it's too dark for my skin, but it's freaking gorgeous as an eyeshadow. So I'm using it as an eyeshadow. So, I'm really good at hiding my panic attacks. So I would just have panic attacks <laughs> during my ukulele lessons. And they would like, I don't like, okay. I have generalized anxiety and it's from messed up brain chemicals. So when I have panic attacks, like there's really no reason for it. It's just me being anxious and strange and whatever. So, <laughs> What I would, like, okay. <laughs> it would make my heart race, like, crazy. And it would, like, make me feel like I couldn't breathe. But, you know how, like, some people, when they get panic attacks, they, like, hyperventilate? Like, it felt like I would need to do that, but I would force myself to not do that so that, like, my ukulele teacher wouldn't be like, um, what is the problem? Because <laughs> that would be so awkward if you just, like, sitting there playing ukulele and then your student is like <sighs> like what so i would force myself to breathe like a normal person until it like passed or whatever and i doubt he ever knew that i was having panic attacks because <laughs> i had many so now that i am crazy anxious again like i haven't been this anxious in a while i've been very anxious since that time in my life but never at the point where I was scared I was gonna start getting panic attacks again and I'm at that point point. and yesterday I had ukulele lessons and I got a kidney stone during like the first five minutes of my lesson like isn't this color just like freaking gorgeous and I'm checking on Angel Angel's back there And so here's something about my kidney stones that I just know from personal experience. So right now, I've been getting a ton of kidney stones in my right side because I think my right kidney is more messed up than my left kidney. Just because that's mostly where I'm getting all my kidney stones. Hold on, I'm, I have to think. <laughs> I'm going to yep. use, actually, let me use something different going to use this pigment from Naked Cosmetics in the shade Sierra Nevada. And that's going to be my inner corner highlight. I hate this packaging because it squeaks really obnoxiously. I suddenly forgot where all my brushes were. So, when I get my kidney stones, you can get them like in your back or in like the front, like depending on where they are. In your kidney tube. It's such a gorgeous pigment, but it's a loose pigment, and I hate loose pigments, but it's gorgeous. And when I get kidney stones in my back, it generally hurts worse than if it's in the front. I think there's just like more pain receptors in my back than there are like in the front. Like, I don't know. 
and when they're in the front though they tend to spasm so it's kind of like you gotta pick which of the evils you want do you want the spasming or do you want more pain and sometimes the spasming is really painful so it's kind of a 50 50 chance of like which one would be better you don't really know so i felt it in my back and that's generally the more painful area. It's more painful generally than if it's in the front. I'm using the single shadow that's in my project pan as my brow bone highlight. I was gonna use it as my inner corner highlight, but I was like, nah, let's be sparkly. I mean, this is like shimmery, but my inner corner highlight is like sparkles. So, <laughs> if you have a bad kidney stone, it can go from like a pain level of like 1 to 10 really quick if it's bad. Generally, I get like medium pain level kidney stones and I just take like Tylenol or Ibuprofen or both if it's bad enough and that's fine. But if it's like, okay, so my pain scale. I'm using my Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in Reflect, and this is from the Stoned Collection because I got a Sephora gift card, and Becca got me the Stoned Palette, and I was like, oh my gosh, let me get the eyeliner that, like, goes with the collection. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to put this on my waterline. My pain scale... I'm just gonna tell you guys what I feel. One is like nothing. Two is like nothing. Three is hard to ignore, but if you do something distracting, you can kind of just ignore the kidney stone. Four is very hard to distract yourself from, and it's more like the kidney stone is distracting you from whatever you're trying to do. And four is usually when I take Tylenol or ibuprofen or both. And then five is uncomfy. Six is contemplating whether or not I should take my scary kidney stone pain medicine. And seven is take the pain medicine because eight, nine, and ten are all, I feel like I'm going to faint, I feel like I'm going to throw up, not good, go to the hospital. So... I got this blue mascara, also with my Sephora gift card, and I have been loving it. It's like my new favorite thing. So I'm gonna wear some blue mascara today for funsies. So I was just like really scared. My lessons are 30 minutes long. So I got it at about minute five. So I was like, I have 25 more minutes with this kidney stone and if it gets bad quick like it's not good so I was just like do not have a panic attack that is the last thing you want to have right now <laughs> like <laughs> having a kidney stone is one thing but then having a panic attack because you have a kidney stone is another thing when you're in ukulele lessons and not in the safety of your home whatever so I was like, do not even panic. Don't think about it. Like, <laughs> I was like, focus on the music. Focus on plucking the strings. Focus on, like, whatever. Because I was just like, oh my gosh. And, like, I literally thought I was going to have a panic attack over my kidney stone. <laughs> but I didn't. But I feel like I got really close to it. But the good thing about ukulele is that I play a lot of like um, individual notes. I don't really play chords that much anymore because I'm good at that. So we're more working on chords and notes and like that kind of a thing. <laughs> I can't talk all of a sudden. But it takes a lot of concentration to like try to read notes and rhythms and do the finger shape and then pluck with this hand so it kind of distracts your brain like I know when um 
if you go to like a therapist or whatever and you have panic attacks they'll tell you like the best way I don't know why I'm trying to do this with my left hand I am not left handed <laughs> they'll tell you like to do these certain things to distract yourself from the panic attack so that it won't like happen or you'll calm down or like whatever so that's kind of like the same thing just in a different way but it's really hard to focus on a panic attack and focus on a kidney stone that might turn out to be bad when you're trying to read all these notes and stuff so I was glad for that at least but now I'm just like super freaked out because I feel like I'm in the danger zone for getting panic attacks and that's not good that just makes me more anxious because then I'm like okay this is a possibility and that's not good and now I'm extra anxious so it's just not good I want to get like a lash primer like one of those white ones because I feel like maybe if I used a lash primer under this it would be like more vibrant but I don't know I gotta like look that up <laughs> gotta watch like colorful mascara videos on YouTube get some more colorful mascara knowledge so I've just been chilling trying to chill not really chilling but so I don't know if you can tell but blue mascara <laughs> okay I'm going to do lip liner and then lipstick and then lip gloss I gotta find the correct lip liner I want though I just went through all my lip products and I got rid of four of them because they were dried up and like weird and now I don't remember which lip liner was my favorite. I think it was this one. My allergies, of course. That's not helping anything. Like when I feel like I can't breathe because my chest is tight from my anxiousness. Then, of course, I already can't breathe very well because of my allergies. I have an air purifier now, which seems to be helping. It's from Lavoie, and I got it for free for a review. What are you doing? So, I was like, let me try this air purifier and see if it helps with my allergies. And it kind of has, but I still can't really breathe the best that I would like to be breathing. This is from Dirty Little Secret in the shade Rosy Posy. So, I can't really talk while I'm lining my lips. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> like, another thing is, it's like... <laughs> I can't even think. I would love to talk to my friends about this stuff, but I just feel like if I'm tired of dealing with all this, they're probably tired of hearing about all of this, and I just feel like they don't want to hear about all my problems, so I don't want to tell them it just for that reason and make them annoyed. Like, I'm paranoid that I'm going to make my friends annoyed with all of my anxiousness. This is antimatter lipstick from Il Masca. I got this in an Ipsy bag. So it's just kind of like neutral eyes with blue snazzy mascara and then like neutral lips. And then I have this sparkling lip oil from Pink that I got for Christmas. And I'm going to put that over it. It just adds like sparkles. <laughs> like, look at that. Oh. Ta da! Sometimes, like, my contact goes blurry from when I put like makeup on and it like takes it a second to like fix itself. Okay, and then I'm going to use, I got this for my birthday, I think. Pixie Rose Glow. Mist. I'm gonna shake it first, and then this is gonna be my setting spray. Even though I don't think this is really a setting spray, but whatever. <laughs> I don't like to do a ton of setting spray because my initial reaction to spraying something in my face is like, like. <laughs> so I just did two sprays of this, and that's good enough. But. I guess that's my dealio. I'm just anxious. I don't want to tell my friends because I don't want them to get like annoyed and I 
feel like they're tired of hearing about all my problems because I'm tired of dealing with all my problems, so they're probably tired of hearing about all my problems. I don't know. I'm just tired. But, you know, maybe I need to be anxious. Maybe I need to be this level of anxious so that then I can enjoy my hobbies. I don't know. <laughs> but I haven't been this anxious in a really long time, probably like a couple of years. And I can just tell that I'm more anxious than I used to be because I'm doing my hobbies again. So that's my anxiety update in case you all were curious. So yeah, just a chill look for a Zoom meeting. And now I guess I'm taking on another responsibility on top of all the things like college student, like YouTuber, whatever. Me and Becca are like low-key about to be social media managers for um, the church retreat that I've talked about that I go on sometimes, which is like on hold because of the virus, but we're about to like make like social media for it and stuff and like start promoting it into the world. <laughs> so more responsibility. It's like, you need to find a balance between like doing things and then not having so many things that you need to do that you become anxious about it. So I haven't been able to find that balance yet, but it could be good because it could be like a distraction from my anxiousness, but it could also be bad because it could make me feel overwhelmed, but who knows, whatever. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked my look. <laughs> I freaking love blue mascara. I think it's like just like a pop of like snazz which I love because I love snazzy stuff it's like subtle but also like snazzy so <laughs> thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below and any thoughts about my anxiety if you have any my bun is like so floppy I feel like I don't know <laughs> hit the subscribe button turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video bye